Good morning, everyone. Uh, so I'm here in Podgorica. I'm here for about, like until the videos, and then I'm leaving. Uh, it's 7:30 in the morning. So yeah, ready to get a head start. But I just want to make the video for Podgorica in Podgorica. Uh, so this is the oldest bridge in Podgorica. Uh, so it goes over this little river rather than this big river. And yeah, so it's a nice little bridge and everything. But then like you look here and there's garbage. And I'll show you behind the bridge because that's also quite something to see. Um, and then I'll talk about my day. Yeah, so right now I'm on the bridge and if you look behind is what you get. Yeah, not not quite nice. Uh, it started to rain so I might make this a bit fast. Uh, but really there's not a lot to talk about. Um, didn't really like Podgorica in general. Uh, there's just well, it's not that I didn't like it. It's just that there's not a lot to do or see. Uh, so after going to, to the church, um, I made a little tour of um, of what to do, and I went to the old town. And that's that's. Uh, I'm gonna put my stuff down. And yeah, there was like a mosque to see. So like some people had like told me to go to the mosque so I went and it was just a normal mosque there was nothing special about it that I could see it's not like it was especially big or especially beautiful it was just a regular mosque um oh it's starting to rain a bit harder um yeah so I I saw that just went around the old town but really um yeah not nothing major to see uh, and then I was like, well, you know, there is online, it says there's a walking tour at 4, from 4 till 7, or 4 till 6, I don't know. Um, so I'll go see if, uh, if it's available. So I go to the hostel where it's starting, and the hostel's like, oh no, that, that hasn't happened for, for days, like, for a good month. Um, it's just that nobody, nobody comes. So I'm like, alright. Uh, so okay uh, then I find a tourist information center and I ask them okay like well what should I do is there anything to do and so she gives me this map and yeah there's about I want to say 10 to 15 things to do but like none of them are sorry none of, none of them are, are really like a lot some of them are hotels um, some of them are shopping malls so it's not yeah not really my jam. Uh, so I decide to go back to the hostel and just take a break, uh, get on uh, some work, and then come back out again uh, because there is like a park. She told me, she's like, oh, there's a park with a nice view of the city. It was a view of the city, but not necessarily nice. It was not really a high park. Uh, and then she's, uh, she also said, oh, right, and there's like the memorial for the Patriots, partisans, for the partisans. Um, so yeah, it, it just felt like a unknown soldier tomb or something like that. So it wasn't, it was bigger than your average one, but yeah, it was, oh, I, I really need to get, get my, uh, poncho. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I did that and then, uh, I just went around. So I went on the Millennium Bridge. So the one with, uh, that kind of looks like a harp. Uh, and then I went back to the church. Oh, that was kind of funny though. Like, so I went because the sun was setting, so it was a different angle of, of light. And I went inside the church this time. And in the church, I found, um, actually, I think I might go under that rock. Uh, I found, uh, there was a painting and usually in churches, the paintings are always of like times of old. And it was kind of funny, so it was a line of people being blessed, and in the line there was like people dressed in like Montenegrin uh, garb and traditional clothes. And then there was just one guy with a tie. And it's like, you usually don't see that. Yeah, I'm just definitely gonna go to uh, the rock, under the rock, where I can be. Um, so yeah, I just thought that was kind of funny. And... 
Then I continued my tour. Uh, it was kind of interesting. There was a statue. So in the former Yugoslavia, there's really mixed feelings about Tito. But usually people agree that he was a dictator. But here there's a statue for him, which was kind of strange. Like, usually the statues are torn down after a while, but yeah. So no, I just thought that was kind of interesting that yeah, the statue was still there and, and in good, uh, good shape too. Um, here, I'm under the rock now. Whew, I should have done this from the beginning. Um, but yeah, then I just finished my round. I just finished my round and got back to the hostel. Uh, yeah, I can't really think of anything else that, that happened. Um, yeah, the hostel, everything was fine. I just made my, my dinner. Uh, oh, right, and then this morning, so I wanted to wake up early to go to Albania because I want to spend, I heard some good things about it, so I was like, well, you know, I don't really care for Podgorica, so I can go to bed early and then wake up early and then spend some time in Albania. So I wake up, woke up around 6 and this French lady also woke up around 6. She had a bus to catch and so we started talking and she's doing the inverse of me. So she's already been to uh, Turkey and Macedonia, or I guess North Macedonia. Uh, Kosovo and Albania and that's where I'm going and she's going towards Kotor which is where I was so we talked about it and she's like no 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 it's beautiful like I don't see why people don't like it I find the I found the people who were really nice and so she was raving on about it uh, so it really made me sort of happy to be going towards there and yeah that's a, that's about it for yesterday yeah just not very not very interesting to be honest yeah there was like i was even looking for a museum or something like this to waste time but no didn't really find it uh but anyways i'm gonna go uh, put on my poncho and start cycling and hope that this rain stops i don't think it was supposed to rain i, I thought i looked and it wasn't supposed to rain so i'm not sure what's going on um hopefully it stops soon and I thought I had another story. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm playing time. It was the the story of no of the the statue of Tito. Um, no, I guess that's pretty much it. All right, bye.